Hello everyone, you have returned for another epic baking video. I hit you with one what last week and I'm all about the baking. I'm all about the Christmas vibes. Uh, you know what it is already because you clicked on the video told by the title and thumbnail it's already there you silly boy. This recipe that I'm going to attempt to make today aired on TV, I think on his programme in 2008. So I have no idea how I haven't discovered this mince pie recipe before. It's more of like a recommendation based video. I want you guys to try these because, I mean, I'm obviously gonna taste them towards the end of the video when I've prepped them, but they look incredible. It's like the easiest thing under the sun. You sh you, I mean, you can make all this if you want, but um, if you're anything like me and you like the idea of getting it available half ready from the shop so you don't have to mess about making the shortcrust pastry and stuff like that. So let's get cracking. I'm super excited for the end result. I just want to have a cup of tea and one of these mince pies basically um, before I settle down for the evening. But uh, I should have everything. I'm pretty sure I have everything. Let's get it all out. Already got my tray out. Ooh, probably should preheat the oven. Let's get cracking with today's recipe. Today's gonna be the day when I'm gonna make some mince pies. I need some plain flour. Ooh, definitely need them. Okay, that should be everything. Really simple. Plain flour surface, so our lovely short crust pastry block doesn't stick. Bang! I'm gonna leave that there because I might want to dust it whilst I'm um, rolling it out. Oh, someone's intrigued. Hi! Hi there, dog. Don't get that, don't get that filo pastry before I use it. Okay, so Jamie said that this block would roll out, or you're meant to roll it out, to a kind of similar shape to a tea towel. So, uh, yeah, whoa, this is hard. It's been in the fridge for a few days. <laughs> it's not actually doing anything. That is rolled out all nicely. It's kind of similar, sh yeah, it is a similar shape, look, bang. Basically, we need to empty the contents of the mint meat onto there, spread it all out. Have you ever seen that hack if you can't open the jar? You just tap, tap the lid and it should just really easily come off. I think it's about releasing the air that's trapped inside it. Anyway, if you didn't know that, it's a really helpful life hack. This is kind of gross, <laughs> it sounds horrible. <laughs> as evenly spread as possible, just remembered. He was adding things like chopped nuts and stuff, but I don't have any chopped nuts. But what I do have is a clementine, and he zested the clementine, as in an orange. I think I can get away with the two jars. That's like, that's one, it's hardly even touched the edges, look. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That looks great. Right, now to cut it into, how many have we got? 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the fat one, let's make him a little bit bigger. There you go. Oh my God, it's getting worse. I need to clean my knife. That looks really messy. Looks as though I've messed it up. And the truth is, I might well have. I need to warm up some water. water? I need to warm up some butter so I can stick the phyllo pastry together because it needs to spread across the whole tin so that's probably what, like one sheet? So I need to stick a few sheets together and in order to do that I need to melt up the butter. Yes, my hob is broken and I use a lighter to light it. <laughs> right, so what Jamie Oliver was doing was just basically like basting the edge. Oh, this is going everywhere. That will stick. Yeah, look, that's gonna stick nicely to that. Then what you did do was kind of just brush the two sheets 
with the leftover butter now that they're joined. I don't know what this does, maybe it just makes it like nice and crispy. Okay, there we go, all done. I wonder if this will work. Oh no, what happened there? Me bloody filo split. Oh no, this is not working. <laughs> I, felt I, talk, I basically talked to myself and I'm like, struggling with something. I'm like, yes, that's it, mate. I like give myself like positive, positive. I give myself positive. <laughs> Boom, done. Okay, much better, look. I've made the little pockets for my individual rolls to fit inside. So let's bring this over here. Pop's gonna be cam camera woman for the minute, just so we can get you those juicy angles. These look insane. I think I did overdo it with the, the fruit though. That's okay. I used two whole jars and it's a bit like, oh my God. Yeah, but surely it's better to have too much than too little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what? And then you cover it of the pastry? Yes. No, 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 no. So the idea is the phyllo pastry is going to form this crispy nest. Wow. For the mince pie spot. I know. I mean, I'm all about the crispy vibes. I literally just came downstairs and was like, oh my god! Right. I'm going to do the finishing touches over here so you can actually see what I'm doing. I've been struggling with my, with my angles. So there you go. All that's left to do is put put some flaked almonds on top. Yummy. And then the icing sugar. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow, check that out. Let's get these bad boys in the oven, 180 degrees for, I'm putting in the center of the oven for I think 25 to 30 minutes. Time is going off. Bang, it's been 25 minutes. Oh wow, they're, they're, they're brown. Oh, you can do it, come. Oh, something's lifting. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, you're hot! You're hot! Ouch, ouch. Could have waited a little longer. These smell great. Oh! The problem is I want to get it off here because I don't want all that like filling to just seep through whatever this bloody thing I decided to put down. Crack him up, crack him up. Let's just do it like that. Just crack it, crack it all up. If you're a little bit worried about things looking a bit burnt, you could always just sprinkle a bit of icing sugar over the top and then everyone's just going to be wowed by the fact that it looks like it's snowed on your games. And they won't be worried about the fact that they're burnt underneath. <laughs> oh my God. Doesn't it look God. great? Do you just say, what is this? Oh my gosh, have you shown this? Yeah. Wow. Did you say, what is this? Yeah. This was double cream. Yeah. And then I added vanilla essence in it. <laughs> and I tried to whisk it up. Yeah. But I left it whisking for too long. So it's made this kind of weird like ice cream. That sounds I'm great. I'm sure it's still going to be good. And you've even made us a cup of tea. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. <gasps> I love one this. That one. <laughs> okay. That looks the prettiest. Wow. Was that cream? Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Much. Okay, quite a lot. Okay, that's wow, it. Wow, okay. Maybe not on it. I didn't mean to scritch it violently like that. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Love it. Thank you. It might be very hot. I burnt my hands. Have you tried one yet? No. Are you waiting for me to try it? Yeah, obviously. Oh my god. Good. Also, jazzing up the cream with vanilla essence. Who am I? This is like. Christmas heaven in my mouth. It is Christmas, it is coming. Like, were they easy to make? I mean, yeah, everything's shop bought. So, short crust pastry, phyllo pastry, and then the minced mm. meat just comes in a jar. All we have to do is just arrange it all and put it in the oven. That's great. That was the pro tip that it's just super easy. Do you like it? I'm was giving it, it 
Was it worth it? A 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Really? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It's like bread and butter pudding, but mince pie with a crunch. Mm. Isn't it? Mm hmm. That's so good. Mm. I'm not going to take another mouthful because I need to finish the video off. But there it is. I knew it was going to be a good one and I it didn't disappoint. It's incredible. So I'll leave all the links in the description. If you want to try it out, I highly recommend you do because that was not only easy, it was insane. Very, very tasty. So um, well done, Jamie Oliver, <laughs> for the recipe. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Tag me in your creations if you do make it. I'd love to see what you get up to. And on that note, I'll be seeing you real soon in another video.